Hey YouTube family, it's TBay82 coming to share a hair update with you. Last night my oldest daughter and I colored my locks. Um, basically we used two colors. We used, for the front, we used Revlon Color Silk in blue black. And in the back portion we used Clairol Textures and Tones in Lightest Blonde. I've been, I have been using the black color in the front for several years, but prior in the back I was using Cream of Nature's light caramel brown and I decided to step it up a notch in the back and go a little bit bolder with a blonde color. Originally I was thinking about doing the front in a light golden blonde as well but I'm just not ready to take it there. My, the front of my hair has been dyed black for several years now so I definitely have to do a lot of bleaching to get the front up to the level that the back is but since the back has been lightened for several years now with the light caramel brown it was very easy to get it up to the blonde at this point so i just want to share um, my results with you unfortunately i thought about reading recording this video after i put my hair up in this style but i can share the style with you as well and if you want to see what my hair looks like down you can go to my instagram my instagram name is tbay82 the same as my channel name here you can check out photos of me and my family and also hairstyles so I'll give you a 360 and then, yeah. <laughs> Now as you can see, the color in the back isn't exactly as light as the the ends. Um, that's because the, the roots of my hair have grown out for over a year. So the roots are more of like a um, like a orangey bronze color and the ends are actually the blonde that I really wanted all to be. Eventually the brassiness will fade out and honestly I really don't mind that much that the roots are a bit darker. I prefer them darker than lighter anyway because it doesn't look as um, harsh. And it's the back of my head so as it grows out I actually like it better because the roots grow in a bit blacker so it looks more... Um, I guess like a softer look than the, the stark contrast between the black in front and the blonde in back. So yeah, I'm trying to think what else I can tell you about the process. Okay, so when I did the back, we just did it, um, the roots first and then the ends because my hair was already lightened at the ends. I didn't need to wait for that part to lift. So we just did it pretty much all in one swoop, sort of at the roots to the ends and we let it process probably for an hour. The box actually says the max of 45 minutes, but I broke the rules and went a little bit longer than that. So I really wanted the color to come out as light as possible. So that's what we did. So if you have any questions about the way that I colored this, you can just leave a comment below and we can try to answer it. Hopefully one day I can um, catch the process on camera for you guys, but I am here to help you with any steps. You know I'm not a professional. I use box color, so if you're looking for um, guaranteed results, you should always go to a professional who can give you good advice on how to color your hair with the least amount of damage. Me, I'm all about trial and error. What works for me may not work for you, but I'm still here to give my perspective. Anyway, it's nice checking in with you guys, and I will speak with you soon.